Allie, I made you this coffee. Oh my gosh, finally coffee's here. Enjoy that. Enjoy that coffee. Is it good? Good. Sticking to my two mile, sticking to my two mile morning run. Today was beautifully overcast, which made it nice and easy for me. I'm definitely beginning to get my running legs back. They weren't as fatigued and I didn't stop, so that was really cool. Consistency is the word of the day. Pretty much with anything in life, in business and fitness, if you're consistent with what you're doing, even if you don't wanna do it. When I woke up this morning, I did not wanna go running, I did not feel like it, but as soon as I tied my shoes on and got out the door, I really enjoyed the run. Anyway, morning fitness done, I need to grab a shower and then we can get going with the day. What you doing looking all cute in your the North Face jacket and boots? I love that I look like a little brand ho. You look like a all snobby and stuck up, but garage sale, garage sale, five dollars. Oh wait, no, that was from a thrift store in Louisiana. Yeah. I think that this was only five dollars. Do the penguin. Do the penguin. Do the penguin. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's go. Whee! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty guys, getting the day started. Hey, first of all, thank you to everybody who reached out to us and said that we're in your thoughts and prayers and sending us your positive energy with this hurricane coming. I promise you we are being safe. We haven't decided yet if we're gonna be riding it out or evacuating. We'll probably ride it out, but we'll see how it's going, how it'll turn in the next- I'm gonna protect the house. I'm gonna lay in front of the door jams. <laughs> So no water gets in. <laughs> I love that strategy. We have places to go, yeah. so don't worry about us too much, guys. But thank you again. Appreciate it. Okay, so today, what's the plan for today, babe? Today, we are going to go to Ink Screen Printing in Lakeland, and mm -hmm. we're going to talk to them about printing us some shirts. And we're nice. going to try to make sure that they're really nice, soft quality for everybody. Yes. And then after that, we're going to try the Salvation Army yep. in Lakeland, because we yeah. haven't been to that one. So hopefully it won't be too late. Traffic is a little horrendous. But when we get there, we'll see if it's a good one. We've actually never been to that Salvation Army in Lakeland, um, but it is Wednesday. It's half off day at Salvation Army, so and we had to be out in Lakeland anyway. We're going to this screen printer because we've actually used them before in one of our other businesses. Mm -hmm. We own this like tiny little craft coffee company um, called The Hip Line. That's where our, our eBay store names, name comes from, The Hip Line. And they printed us shirts for that company before. They're really good and they're local. So we're gonna go meet with them now and show them some t-shirt designs that Allison made and uh, we'll see how they come out. Yeah, they're a small local business and we're mm -hmm. all about supporting small local businesses. So t-shirts coming soon. <laughs> we will probably show you guys a little sneak peek of the design. Um, we're going with something unique like us <laughs> yeah, and we definitely want people to let us know what sizes they want so we make sure yes. we get enough of the right sizes yes for sure we'll figure out how we want you guys to tell us later in the video all right guys off to lakeland let's go have a good day babe Woo. boom <laughs> traffic is eBay, shut up. Traffic is trafficy. But hey, everyone, good on you for being proactive and evacuating. That's right. While people like us are gonna stay lay safe. in front of our doors and keep the water out. Don't take <laughs> chances. Stay safe. Car ride. <laughs> that took longer than expected, but we're here. We're here at the t-shirt printer. We're gonna go run in there in a second, but before we do that, let's show you guys what sold on eBay for us yesterday. So overnight, a total of 12 items sold on that hip line account for a total of $497 and 82 cents and 82 cents so right at that $500 mark that we try to hit per day on that eBay account so an average selling price of just over $41 per item and that's pretty much exactly where we like to keep our um, our revenue per item. We don't go after those items that are $15, $20. We look for higher priced items so that our average per item stays a little bit higher. That way we don't have to list so many things and ship and sell so many items. All right, so what sold yesterday? First things first, we sold one, two, three, four, five 
Vera Bradley items for a total of $184.26. Next up, we sold a pair of St. John cashmere pants. We took an offer on those for $40 shipped. That's actually the first St. John thing that sold for us from that lot that we spent $1,400 on. We've been slow to list those items. They should start trickling over now and we should start selling more of those items. But again, I believe from what I remember, I think we paid like $11 an item for those. So an $11 buy cost and a $40 sell price, we'll take that every day. The next item is a J. Crew women's hoodie and that sold for $22.92. That was from a thrift store. Yeah, those vintage Jerbar, Jerbo, how do you say that? <laughs> those vintage jeans sold. The name we cannot say. Yes. Jerbo? Jerbo, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sold for $35.88. One of the Disney LuLaRoe Julia dresses with the Beauty and the Beast stained glass rose pattern, that sold, and it sold for $42. Nice. The LuLaRoe stuff is selling for us. Remember guys, the Disney LuLaRoe items do usually sell for more than just the regular LuLaRoe stuff. So if you get something that's Disney, make sure you list it for a little bit more money. And then lastly, we sold a Mitchell and Ness Pistol Pete jersey. That There's so much money. <laughs> It sold for $129. That was a garage sale pickup. I'm not sure, I'd have to look back at the video. I'm not sure exactly how much we paid for that item, but knowing me, um, it probably wasn't more than five bucks for that jersey. So I would say a $5 investment for a $129 sale. Thank you very much, we like that. So there we go, that's what sold for us yesterday on that one eBay account. We're gonna go run into the t-shirt designer now. Yay! And hopefully get some good news. So there's the design, guys. We went with something a little bit different. There's all the different color flavors. <laughs> flavors. All right, guys, so there's the design that we're going with. We really hope you like it. Like I said, we wanted to do something different. There's a lot of like reseller shirts out there that are just, you know, like three words on a shirt, which we didn't want to do that. We wanted to do an actual design that looks cool while you guys are wearing it. And the reason we're even doing shirts is because popular by request. So many people requested exactly. that we do do shirts, so looked into it, and it's something that we can do, we should do, and we will do. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going with a very high quality shirt. It's a 60-40 cotton polyester blend. It's a very, very nice shirt. I'm excited about it. Really um, soft, and you can rip out the tag, which was really yeah. important, because we know tons of people don't like tags. So here's what we need from you guys. In the comments, can you please let us know what size you would like and what color shirt you like. So the size and the color of the type of shirt that you would buy. We haven't put the order in yet. We're trying to gauge what sort of sizes of shirts that we should order. So for example, if I'm gonna buy a shirt, in the comments I would put men's large gray or something like that, right? Just so that we know what sort of order that we should place for these first shirts. When we put the order in, it takes probably about a week to get the shirts and then we will put a link up on our website where you can buy the shirts and then we'll ship them right out. So probably from this video to when we ship the shirts out, call it about two weeks. Um, but yeah, no, we're super excited about that, guys. And now we're going to the Salvation Army in Lakeland to see what we can find. Yay! Fingers crossed! Let's go find good stuff! All right, seems like a pretty big store. I don't know how good the inventory is gonna be, but it's a big Salvation Army. Let's go check it out. Right, we absolutely plundered that Salvation Army. <laughs> yeah, shockingly so. If you hear raining, that's because it's, it's raining. raining. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, um, I think we're gonna go back to the office because I need to grab the mm -hmm. camera battery and then we'll head home and I guess we'll do the full haul for you guys at home. 
Um, in our home studio. Yeah, in the studio at home. So yeah, let's go home and then we'll show you each other. What's up? I didn't tell you while we were checking out and you were looking at other things. Don't touch the me. lady was like, wow, you got a lot of really good stuff. And I said, thank you, we did well. And she goes, a lot of good name brands. And I was like, yeah, we did well. <laughs> I was like, I think she's on to us. <laughs> of course, they have to know who the resellers are. Anybody who walks up with a cart full of a whole bunch of different sizes and men's and women's, I yeah. think that, you know, they probably know, but. But we do kind of look like hipsters. You're a hipster. People probably just think we're hipsters. You're a hipster. I'm an Allison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Bye, Salvos. Thanks. Hey, you. Thank you for the inventory. See you later. Yeah, you and me, Salvos. Bye. We cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. And back. Home studio. I had to get out of that shirt. I can only take sleeves for so long. I get uncomfortable. I put on comfy shorts, but you can't see it. <laughs> I have no pants on. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are going to take you through what we found at that Salvation Army. That is definitely one that will go on the list of uh, thrift stores to continue to go to. We found some really good stuff there. We found some great vintage items. I I mean, I went through there like a, like Hurricane Irma. Oh, too soon. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Well, too, too past? It's not here yet. What would that be? Too not present. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, guys, we're going to take you through our fines and we'll tell you how much we paid for mm -hmm. the stuff and then how much we feel we should be able to sell it for. Remember, when we tell you guys how much we feel we should be able to get for these items, it's based on sold comps or based on our knowledge of the items, okay? It doesn't mean that that is exactly what we will get for the items. That's why we've been showing you our actual sold sales on a daily basis as well. So you can see like this is how much stuff does sell for and then this is how much we think we should be able to get for some of these items. Plus but or minus standard deviation of that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say we have gotten very good at pricing stuff um, and we were pretty close most of the time. So anyway, let's get started with the haul. Thing number one, that's your shirt. You got that. That one's not for sale, but you should show it to them. I think I will. Check it out. Sick Zelda shirt. Any Zelda fans out there? <laughs> So what are you going to do with that? We're going to turn it, well, I'm going to have someone turn it into a tank top. Nice. Oh, you held it back there. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? Mm. It's pretty cool. Mm. It was only a dollar. A lot of the time we'll find stuff at thrift stores that we will keep for ourselves. And then sometimes Allie, you know, transforms it into other things for us. So for a dollar investment, totally worth it. All right. Up next, I found these J. Crew. Shorts, they they have little embroidered marlins or swordfish. I think they're swordfish. I think that's a swordfish or a marlin. Oh wait, it doesn't have the marlin fin. That's a swordfish. That's a swordfish, right? Yeah, that's a swordfish. They're nice shorts. Swordfish. They're short, which is popular right now. These were four ninety nine, so I paid two dollars and fifty cents for them, and we'll list these for twenty four dollars and eighty eight cents. Alrighty, anyone who is a fan of it's always sunny in Philadelphia, you'll appreciate this. Do you guys see that? It says Nightman Cometh. Look at it. <laughs> if you've never seen the show, you totally won't get this joke, but. Which is fine, but for those of you who have seen this show, you will appreciate it's, it's it. It's so good, dude. <laughs> it's so good. It's a rock, the rock opera. Look, a love story sponsored by Wolf Cola, Honey and Vinegar, <laughs> what is that, Real Estate, Patty's Pub, and Kitten Mittens. Kitten Mittens. <laughs> This is so funny. It's so funny. It was a dollar. This is another keeper. We're not going to sell this shirt. We'll turn it into something, probably a tank top. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, guys, this is a Looney Tunes Tweety Bird t-shirt. Look at those nice, bright graphics. The shirt- So neon. <laughs> it does have a date on it from 1997. So it is a vintage item and it's got the Looney Tunes label on it. So it's legit. It was $1.99. So we paid $1 for this shirt. We're gonna list it for twenty three eighty eight, and we'll probably end up taking a best offer on it. We didn't find yeah. an exact comp, but it's vintage, for, so yeah. Oh my gosh! For one dollar to turn it into twenty plus dollars, that's the way to do it. Or more retro than vintage. I can't properly say vintage, but you know, <laughs> 20, vintage is twenty years, so it is vintage. Oh, 
And what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, this is probably one of my favorite finds from that thrift store. It is a, what is this one from? This is from 1999. It's a BMW Motorsports t-shirt. Always look for dates on items. Usually they'll either be um, they'll either be under the, the main label on the item, or if you go underneath the shirt, sometimes the dates are on the inside label. So look out for those. Yeah, really get in there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a BMW Motorsports shirt. It's got a nice, what would that, what would you call that? It's like a plastic, embroidered plastic thing on the thing on the front it's of it. It's called something. I can't think of the name off the top of my yeah. head, but we will find out. And then on the back, it says, it's a fast world. It's a really cool t-shirt. Again, nice item there. This one cost us, also cost us a dollar. And this one will go up for about 25 bucks. So, nice shirt. For those of you who don't know, I was originally born in South Africa. And that's where my family's from. My mom was born there. My grandparents live over there. That's just where I'm from. And I, I got so excited when I found this shirt. He was so excited. It was Spring adorable. Spring books and it's my size. I think what popped out first was the flag and then you opened it and you were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Springboks is a is the South African rugby team and I grew up with my dad like loving yeah. the Springboks so this is a really cool find for me I'll keep it, it I'm definitely not going to be selling this shirt but and it was a dollar and it's legit SA rugby it's got the South African rugby label on it which I don't know who donated this shirt to Lakeland but thank you <laughs> You guys know that we love buying the North Face. The North Face. The North Face. So we bought a, a oh thanks babe. You're welcome. Uh, the North Face A5 button up. <laughs> <laughs> it was five dollars, so we only paid two dollars and fifty cents, and it'll sell for twenty one dollars and eighty eight cents, and it'll sell fast because yeah. it's uh, the North Face. Uh, the North Face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got excited when I saw this label. It's a Burberry's of London label. London. London. This is a Burberry's tuxedo shirt. You can tell because of the pleating. This here. This is called pleating. This one was priced three ninety nine, so we paid two dollars for it. There is a small stain on it. Um, but because of the name and two dollars, I thought it would take a shot at it. This one will throw up on eBay for twenty four dollars and eighty eight cents. So not huge money. If it didn't have that stain, it would be worth more. But hey, whatever. Good profit. All right. This is. Give me that. <laughs> this is by far my favorite find of today. You guys ready? Oh, that's right. It's Wait, from... you have a lot of favorite finds. You can't say everything's your favorite. But this is my favorite find. <laughs> Your top three faves? It's from 1986, so before both of us were born. And it is... <laughs> Shit! Fitnessosaurus! It's just so funny! From 1986, it says Fitnessosaurus... Fitnessosaurus. 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 It means a creature craving physical perfection, any beast gratified by muscular development. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a made in the USA item. I love it. It's gonna go for sale because I can't wear it. It's not my size. You know who's not made in the USA? You. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask, or we're gonna ask $29.88 for this item. I think we'll get close to that just because it's so cool. We found these really awesome vintage Levi button ups and we found two in the same size, which we really love because that means we can make one listing. We're gonna sell them together for $42.88. Nice, and they were $2.50 each. They definitely have the old Levi's labels on them and they even, they even have the Levi Strauss, Strauss? How do you say that? Levi, Levi Strauss? Levi Strauss, Strauss. Um, Strauss. But it's, embro Strauss. it's embroidered on Strauss. the pocket, which is Strauss. nice. <laughs> and this one, this one still has the original size tag on it. What? Yeah, you know like the little stickers they put on the shirts? No. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Is so it this new? one, this one might have never been worn. It doesn't have the tags on it, but it does have the little sticker, which is cool. Mind blowing. I feel like oh, when you said that. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. This is, you know, one of those peanut butter and jelly type items. Oh, yay, milk and cookies. One of those spaghetti and meatballs type of items. <laughs> Not a bread and butter item. No. <laughs> Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. <laughs> Um, it's Tommy Bahama. It's a long sleeve dress shirt. It's nice. It's in very good condition. 
This one was more expensive because again, the thrift stores know the brand now, right? Uh, so it was $6.99, so we paid $3.50 for it. And we'll throw it up for $22.88 and it'll sell like that. We like when everything can just sell real fast. Yeah. Even if you pay a dollar more. Hey, by the way, sell. do you guys like the Tiki Man? He's cool, right? That was custom made for us. A guy in Cocoa Beach like hand carves those things and he painted it. It's actually years ago. Years ago. It's actually solid wood, but he painted it with uh, like stone paint, so it looks like that. He's a bit cross-eyed, but he's pretty sweet. <laughs> Up next, guys, little Tommy for you, mommy. Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy for your mommy. <laughs> there was a lot of Tommy Hilfiger stuff at that thrift store, actually. Just not the kind of stuff that commands the money that we're looking for. This Commands. 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 This one is good, though. It's a nice plaid, long sleeve, um, Ithaca. So it's, it's a newer one. It still has the little box logo on it, but it is an really Ithaca. Nice. It's a very, very nice, high quality dress shirt. You're an Ithaca. I'm not. And it was $2.50 is what we paid. And this will go up for $24.88. Another Levi's item. We don't usually buy Levi's stuff, but this thrift store had some really great Levi's finds. So this is a flannel jacket. Flannel on the outside, fleece lined or wool lined or cotton, whatever that is. I don't I know. I would just say fleece. Fleece? Yeah. yeah. So soft. It's very soft. It's a very nice jacket. It is, it's got the two horse brand right there on the label. Oh. Um, it is a size large, which is good. And did this have a price on it? What I feel like somebody for? in the comments below is going to say that they want to buy that jacket. Oh, actually, that's a good point, guys. If at any time during these haul videos, if you guys see something that you want, just email us, ryan at ryanroots.com, and we'll cut out eBay fees and PayPal fees and just do a direct deal with you and then ship it out to you. So About every video, we've been yeah. selling an item to somebody. Yeah. yeah, so if you want something, just claim it and it's yours. So this was this price tag $6.99, so $3.50, and it'll go up for $27.88. I really like this. This is a good one. It is, especially Ooh. with winter coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> I think we say that every video. Every, Everyone's every gonna, in the video. comments below be like, stop it. Or they're gonna be like, yeah, I get this uh, Here's another um, uh, watermelon and popsicles item. I just, I just want some. I like that. <laughs> I want this some. is another milk and cereal item. <laughs> yes. Pancakes and syrup yes. item. Tommy Bahama, it is a polo. Yes. Yay for a polo. Is this a hunt? No, this isn't the silk one. It's 70% silk right. and 30% cotton. Again, it'll sell really nice and fast as long as we price it right. Pink, it's pink. We paid $2 for it and we'll sell it for $21.88. Oh, really quick. The reason why we bought this one in particular is because it's an XXL. And the bigger the sizes are with Tommy Bahama stuff, the better they sell for us. If you guys hear some weird sounds in the background, it is our neighbor putting up shutters. Oh, that's what he's doing. Our neighbors are cutting wood and putting up shutters just in case, but it looks like Irma is taking a turn to the north, so it does. I've been we're like, hoping and praying, guys. I've been outside like really blowing hard, like, <laughs> and I think it's been working <laughs> because it's going this way, so I'll we'll go just, back out there tonight and I'll... <laughs> we'll light a candle and dance around it naked Ooh. under the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming that. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, this is a Nike... Uh, it's a Nike dry fit UV golf polo and it's also a larger size. It's a double XL um, And it's got the nice hidden half zip right there Zip. Hey guys, listen, that. listen, listen, listen Ooh. Love that sound. Ooh. I don't know why I just really like that sound. Okay That's really weird for you to say because you don't like a lot of sounds. I know so it's a nice <laughs> So it's a nice black Stretchy polo. This one cost us two dollars and fifty cents, and it'll go up and sell. <laughs> it'll go up and it'll sell quickly for twenty-one dollars and eighty-eight cents. Hook shot. Nailed it. There's the shadow. Oh. See the shadow? We need other lights, backlights, and top lights, and other lights. We'll get there. <laughs> All right. Up next, uh, this is Lacoste, and okay. So here's the deal, right? I'm not gonna be able to say this. Can you say that? Chemise? Chemise? Chemise. Chemise. I've never seen this label before. Chemise. I think it's the ones that are, um, I think it's Chemise. the ones that are made in like France and Spain. Uh, this is made in France. But again, it's a Lacoste polo. Chemise. It's, <laughs> it's got the nice, uh, the nice alligator patch right there. 
Um, and it's blue, it's a nice color. Again, it was $2.50. Ooh, one thing really quick. If you guys are trying to find, or if you guys are out in the wild and you find a Lacoste polo. Out in the wild. Out in the wild, looking for alligators. <laughs> and you want to authenticate it, you want to make sure that it's real. One of the easiest ways you can tell is by the alligator on the, um, usually it's on the left-hand side of the polo. It should be a patch. It should not be embroidered. So if it's just like an embroidered alligator, more than likely that is fake. It should be an actual patch that's stuck on the shirt. So this is a size seven, France, seven, seven. It's like a men's medium, I think. Yeah, this will go up for $27.88. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but you know I like to buy this stuff. This is a McDonald's polo. See that little, Broider and golden arches right there. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but it sells for us. I promise you um, This is McDonald's apparel collection line. Uh, yeah, and it was two dollars So it was marked 399 so we paid two bucks for it and Look at the comps on this guys type in McDonald's apparel collection black polo. Um, this is the better one It's got the little like moisture wicking and that kind of thing. Little circle, circle. Little circle, circle. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now, now I, I got, got my cootie, cootie shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> this will sell for us for $23.83. I guarantee it. I can't wait to tell you guys in another video that it sold. <laughs> <laughs> another Burberry item. B -b 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 Burberry. B -b -b Burberry. That berry sounds delicious. Uh, this Actually, is a, it does sound delicious. This, <laughs> this is a Burberry Brit. It is a red polo. Red polo. It does have some pit stains. Gross. So I will be washing this. So it will be getting washed, but it is legit. It's got the nice, um, you know, what's it, checkered marking on the collar. And we paid $2.50 for this item. Once it's washed, there's no other stains or anything in it, and it's really nice. It's that like high quality Pima cotton. It's beautiful. Did you just say Pima? Pima. Pima? Pima cotton, P I M A. Oh, didn't know about that. Yeah. There you go. There's so much I don't know. <laughs> um, this will go up on eBay for $44.88. So more Tommy for your mommy. Tommy for your mommy. <laughs> Here's another Tommy Hilfiger long sleeved polo. Long sleeve. Long sleeve. We paid $2.50 for it. This one's sick because and it's- Yeah, you, got, you beat me to it. Sorry, you oh, beat you me to it. it. You wanna say it? This one's sick, guys, because it has this box logo on it. Look Do at you, like you even know what it is. It's a box, box logo. logo. hey -o. Box logo, long sleeve polo. Nice. Bam. Golf polo, long sleeve golf polo. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. It's a golf collection. But this is the golf collection. Yeah. Look at this label, it's a nice label. So $2.50 paid. Oh, I said that. Oh, well, yeah. I said it again. Well, how much is it gonna sell for? And it's gonna sell for $29.88. Nice. Up next, guys, make sure that you're going through the t-shirt section in the thrift stores. Sometimes there's some really good finds in there, um, and usually it's cheap. So this shirt was a dollar. It is Crooks and Castles. This brand does okay. It's a streetwear brand, and this is the Black Flag series. So Crooks and Castles Black Flag, again, paid a dollar for, <laughs> for it. <laughs> And we'll throw this one up for $24.88. Allie Beard. Allie Beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, Positano oh, button yeah, up. Go yeah. For it. I know about this. This is a Positano button up. We paid $2.50 for it. And it's, what is it, this fabric? I don't know I like what the that fabric is. Waffly... With Positano, the. <sighs> What's the nice, what's the nice way to put it? The flashier the shirt, the better. When we list mm. them, we list them as disco shirts or, oh. yeah, or like, um. That's what they're known for and whenever people are searching for them, that's what they're searching for. Exactly. All right, This I gotcha. one's like kind of see-through, see what I mean? I mean, I kind of want you to wear it. Show a little nip. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh too dirty for the video. All right, so, um, so this <laughs> Positano disco shirt, go for it. So again, we pay $2.50 for it, and we're gonna list it for $29.88. Yes. Austin Powers, that's the word I was looking for. That's another good phrase to put in the title for those shirts. Oh, okay, all right. Next up, this is an interesting one. I know that a lot of you guys have probably not, never sold anything like this before. Um, this is a shooting shirt. That's not the first shooting shirt that we've bought. Actually. No, we've sold a bunch of these. Um, they do sell very well for us. What it is, right? It's a regular shirt, but up here, there's a padded section. And what that's for is when people are shooting or hunting, they put the butt of their gun right there. So when it 
when they pull the trigger and it backfires, it doesn't hurt your shoulder as bad. So people in public like to wear these so everyone knows that they have big guns? <laughs> no. <laughs> Most people only wear them when they're hunting. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, $2.50 paid for this shirt and we'll throw it up for $24.88. We're getting there. We got a lot of stuff, guys. Up next with Allison. <laughs> oh. Go yeah. for it. It's this one. The Scooby-Doo polo. Yes. Yeah, oh, is this a Warner Brothers actual shirt? Yes. Oh, wow. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Oh, I didn't look for a date on this one. Oh, 2000. 2000. Wow. It's from the year, the year 2000. 17 years old. Yeah. Whoa. We paid $2.50 for this awesome Scooby-Doo shirt. I think at first, whenever you looked for it, you were like, oh, I'm not too sure about it, right? Yeah. Because you couldn't find a good comp, but we decided to go for it. And we're going to list it for $24.88. Nice. It says untrainable on the collar. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's awesome. We like to do 0.88 because that's the year we were born. Is that why? Yeah. No. I that's started why. doing it to copy uh, Walmart, actually. Because 88 is a good luck number. Yeah. And it's cooler than 99. Well, I figure if that's how people are buying stuff, it's probably a good way to list. And it works for us. It's because it's the year we were born. That's why. That's why. All right, this one I'm not I'm not like super sure about. I just bought it because again, people collect these type of shirts. It's Royal Caribbean and it's got a vision of the seas embroidered right on there. And then on the bottom of the shirt right here, it says authentic Egyptian cotton. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice shirt. It's a very high quality shirt and it cost us only a dollar. It was marked 199 half That's off. Crazy. Royal Caribbean brand, 100% cotton, size XL, made in Egypt. Ooh, made in Egypt. I really want to go on another cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so we paid a uh, dollar for it and it should sell or we're going to list it for $22.88. Alright guys, the last of the clothing items that we got. Ali will tell you about this one. Oh yay! It's very cool. Check out this. Matches my hair. What? Vintage Disney Dis sweatshirt. Yeah. Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World. It's so old that literally the tag says one size fits all. One size fits all. They didn't even make it in different sizes. Like that's how long that's ago cool. this was made. And it's made in the, in the USA. I would say it's a plum color. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's plum. an Allison hair color. <laughs> and it's in such good condition. Oh man, I just love everything about it. It's so soft still. It doesn't feel, you know, it's good. destroyed it's at all. It's a good shirt. It's nicely worn in. Who knows the difference between Disney World and Disneyland? <laughs> Disney World's in Florida, Disneyland's in California. <laughs> and then this item, we paid $3.50 for it, which Super fair. Yeah. And we're gonna list it for $34.88. There are two other ones exactly like that listed on eBay right now. Uh, both of them are listed at $39.99. I can't remember if there was sh plus shipping on them or not, but we'll just throw ours up and undercut them um, and we should sell it, 35 bucks. Yeah, for as cheap as it was, we just wanna move it fast. Exactly. Make that money. Make that money. Make that money. <laughs> Mickey money. Mickey money. <laughs> All right, that's it for the clothing. We did buy two pairs of shoes as well from that Salvation Army. The first pair, the first pair are these specialized road bike shoes. Um, you didn't know what these were. You oh, I me. knew that they clipped onto either a motorcycle or a road bike, but I didn't know. Oh, okay. Like in particular. Specialized is a very good um, road biking brand. And these shoes are designed to clip into the pedals on a road bike so that you're, you're kind of like locked in, your feet aren't slipping around. Um, these are women's shoes and they're adjustable, the little clips on the bottom. So these are women's shoes, they're in excellent condition, excellent condition. Um, yeah. And they were $4, is that right? Three fifty. They were three dollars and fifty cents. Three dollars and fifty cents, um, and these will go up on eBay for forty bucks. So for thirty nine dollars and eighty eight cents, mm. very good find, babe. Good job. I'm glad I actually found something. <laughs> and then lastly, <laughs> the, the last <laughs> pair of shoes that we found, also women's shoes. These are Nike golf shoes. They're called Nike Air. Dormi, D-O-R-M-I-E. They are also in very good condition, actually. They need to be cleaned up on the leather just a little bit. But... And they are US size seven. Yes. I felt like someone was gonna ask us what size they were, so they're a seven. That's your size. You wanna go play some golf? Play some mm. golf? Allie, wanna play golf? <laughs> mm. Allie doesn't like golf. I do. I don't dislike it. I just think football. it's boring. And it's so hot in Florida. I mean, why would I wanna go Because it's out fun. There. 
because it's fun. Hurricanes are out there. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So again, these were also three dollars and fifty cents. Is that right? Three dollars and fifty cents. And they'll go up for thirty-four dollars and eighty-eight cents. <gasps> oh <laughs> my God! The webcam. <laughs> I didn't look at all. <laughs> I think Oops. the webcam will be fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So after the things that we took out for ourselves, so the total amount spent on actual inventory for reselling was $57.21. So our total potential gross profit potential. is $681. <laughs> nice. Yay. That's pretty good, man. 57 bucks spent into 681. That's really good, actually. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. That was a ton it was of fun. fun. Brand new thrift store. It paid out for us, so can't complain about that. And we got to go get some t-shirts. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're out there anyways. Well, we haven't ordered them yet, but we will be ordering them. Once everybody lets us know the sizes that they want. Yes, please leave in the comments your size and the color that you like. Price-wise, the price of the shirts, we're probably going to sell them around 20 bucks, 20 to 25 bucks, depending depending just because they're very, very high quality shirts yeah. and that'll be shipped. So again, guys, if you are interested in buying one of those shirts and supporting us, yay, supporting us, <laughs> <laughs> please leave a comment with the size you want and the color that you like. And then for the guys, we're definitely thinking it's going to go charcoal black yeah. or that dark navy blue. Right. We're leaning more towards charcoal. Like a so, dark charcoal, I think, yeah. would look nice for guys. Yeah. And then for women's, we have no idea what colors to order, but we can order lots of different colors. So let us know. Yeah. And it's going to be like a really nice metallic, um, like a silver metallic ink. So again, guys, we're going really nice, high quality, high quality shirts, high quality ink so that they last a long time for you guys. Yeah, we want you to be able to use and abuse them, toss them in the dryer, whatever you want to do. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, we're going to go hurricane prep, probably. No? I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, i got to go blow it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go uh, find some candles to light to dance around tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ali Roots. And, and together, together we, we are... Rally Roots. Roots. See you next time, guys. Peace.